Marta's going to pick us out a beer or two. <laughs> <laughs> So, Gold Dragon, Med with Love, Ginger Medi- Ale, naturally. Oh, like Medicaid with Love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, activation time is 15 to 120 minutes. Yeah. This is a one-to-one uh, CBD to THC beverage, Ginger Ale. I got it at the shop down the street. <laughs> but while we're drinking that and talking about things, we also have Lucille, India Pale Ale from Georgetown Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. It's pretty basic and it's like one of those go-to beers so we're gonna we're gonna do all the stuff this morning because welcome to your beer news people glasses Ooh, it's milky look at this color Ooh. Uh, okay so um moving on from kind of the silly stuff here's a serious one sort of i don't know i still think it's silly uh there's a brewery in uh, london uk fuller's I think we've been there. I think everybody who's ever drank beer has had a Fuller's. It's uh, kind of an iconic brand in the UK. They've been around a really long time. And today they announced that they are going to be selling to Asahi, Japanese brand, which to beer people is kind of upsetting. Um, Asahi owns some other brands and uh, that will then make Fuller's no longer an independently owned company which for a lot of people, conscious consumers, myself included, that's a downer to see a company like that move on to the pastures of industrialization. To you, but to the owners, it's probably like, ka-ching. Yeah, well, so. you gotta talk louder. I had to subtitle you last night. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Said so to you it might be sad, but you know, to the owners, they're making money. Isn't that the whole point of making it big? I mean, True. for some anyways. True, and I get, I, I, for me, okay, it's not sad for me. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Everybody, uh, Twitter feed, I, uh, Beer Maven asked this on Twitter. They, she asked it, I didn't have to, lovely. So people responded how they felt about it. A lot of people were like, oh, that's sad, I kind of care, I don't really care. Actually, um, one of my favorite responses to the whole thing was a, another beer podcaster. He said, <laughs> he said, I really don't give a flying fuck <laughs> that Asahi sold, that Fuller sold to Asahi. It's a... The benefit of being a YouTuber and being able to be 100% independent and honest in my views. And he also called out some other beer writers. So, uh, I agree. I don't really care. I don't really drink fillers. I don't think it's that great a beer. I never really have. I also think that, you know what? Great for them. Now they're going to have a bigger marketing uh, reach. They're going to be able to distribute further into the east. Awesome. So they're just going to move all their product eastward into that emerging um, East Asia market, and that's going to leave more room in the UK for breweries that actually matter. So that's great, and hopefully it'll draw attention to the fact that they're now a more commercial brand, so people will just stop drinking it, because who the fuck cares? Yeah, um, so you want people to drink beer. I don't want people to just drink beer, Marta. I want people to drink... I'm giving you the other perspective. Good beer. <laughs> beer that means something. Beer. I just want people to know where their money is going, mostly. That's the thing. I don't care. If you want to drink a beer because you think it's whatever, go for it. But me, personally, I want to know where my money goes. Like, I don't like buying products that I know the money just goes into some giant faceless corporation that doesn't give a fuck about any money. Yeah. That's my thing. But not- uh, next question. Have you ever had Singha beer? I'm sure you have. It's at random places uh, all the time. You've had this beer. You've seen it? This little one? Have I? Yeah. It's, they just sell it, <clears throat> like different Asian food restaurants. It's a very generic commercial thing. That's why it's really interesting to have this video of this lady who's, they're releasing Singha into Fiji, into the wild, on an island, and they're really hyping it up. Now today to be here to launch a very premium product as well, but not in the wine field, so to speak, but a premium beer, Singha beer. Singer is beer is brewed from the finest ingredients. It is a full-bodied, 100% barley malt beer that is distinctively rich in taste with very strong hop characteristics. And I think you should be, you will have one in your hand right now and tasting that. Crap. Does it? No, it doesn't have flavor. It doesn't have any of that. What she said is mostly a marketing line. She's clearly reading off a piece of paper. Even her intro where she's like, this is sort of not wine related. What you said doesn't make sense, madame. 
So um, I don't know any breweries in Fiji. I'm going to just ask everyone out there if you could please quit what you're doing and uh, go open a brewery in Fiji to stop this. Please and thank you. What if they can make it with Fiji water? Fiji water is actually a horrible company. Yeah, I had this the, the I India had. Pale Ale. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay. it's basic. It's a little bit more multi. Maybe a little old. Canned on seven thirteen eighteen. Is there an expiration date on beer? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just, Are you serious? Yeah, we just covered this. <laughs> we just talked about this the other day. So again, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, beer has an expiration. It should be drank under three months if it's a beer with hops. If it's a lager, you want it as fresh as possible. The same with hoppy beers, as fresh as possible. It's not like wine. Under three months. But then that's only for these pale ales, um, India pale ales. Um, any of those things have hop character in it that you want to maintain. You want that to be drank in under three months. Preferably. It's not going to kill you. So you're you not going to keep a beer forever and be like, hey, let's just... 30 years later, let's but the, there are a lot, But there are a lot of other styles that you can. Darker beers are f- more fine with aging. Um, sour styles, farmhouse yeast, things that are wild fermented, those can develop over time and have amazing different characters uh, in the flavor and aromas. Just depends on the beer style. But in general, a uh, rule of thumb I generally tell people is once a beer leaves the brewery, that's when it's ready to be drank. And you want to drink it as fresh as possible. Good to know. You're welcome. Beer uh, 101. Beer, I know. Beer, Marta here with Beer, beer 101. 101. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, w- well, we're going to leave you with um, a little bit of a hustle that some ladies created. It's called the Liquor Store Hustle. We're going to dance it out uh, just backwards here. Right? You, you got this down. You, you watched it. She's going to teach us. Liquor store hustle, everybody. We're learning. This is, we're learning. Spin. There's a spin. There's a spin. Anyway, nothing. Other than Lucille. Men dragon over there. <laughs> and Mart. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna dance with it.